Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. It's a covered bridge, four season covered bridge soap. That's what I have in store for you. If you're new around here, let me introduce myself. My name's Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. So today I am going to be sharing with you my process for taking my covered bridge soap and turning it into a four season soap gift set. Guys, I need to go get, I forgot to go grab something. I'm sitting to make it easier and I have to keep going downstairs to grab something I forget. I've been thinking a little bit about how I want to bring these videos to you. I don't really want to do four different uh, videos for this because it's really just the same thing uh, with different design techniques or different design ideas. So how I've decided to do this for you guys is I'm going to break the soaps down per season. I'm going to discuss with you my plan for that soap. I'm going to show you a little bit of the making of the soap and then I'm going to discuss with you whether I met my design plan or not. This was and probably is even though I've finished two of my seasons, this is still the best soap I think. It's really, really the best soap I've made. So let's go over my plans for spring. For the blue, I'm going to do a gray blue in the sky and my clouds are going to be a light gray instead of a white for rain clouds so the sky is going to be quite uh, muted I hope <laughs> and also my clouds while still gray I want them to be bigger so you can see these are a bit wispy I don't want wispy clouds I want bigger like chunks of clouds for that rain cloud type of scenario uh, nothing's really changed here and then <laughs> I am going to put embeds I am I'm using soap dough guys <laughs> I'm gonna put flower embeds along the road here if I can figure that out so my spring fragrance is a thousand dreams by nature's garden let's see how I did with making my spring inspired soap for the spring sky I'm actually using the blue that I've said all along I just don't like this blue because it's more of a gray blue and that would be perfect for a spring so I'm going to make the main part of it blue and then I'm going to have a little bit of gray white clouds guys just really quickly and then I'm gonna get off here you'll notice that my gray in the road this is the road underneath my bridge is lighter than I wanted it to be this is the color I wanted the road <laughs> so I can't make my road this color they'll just kind of blend in and I've struggled with that so my road is black I don't know guys I was taping oh this camera it's like, I blame the camera, and we all know it's user error. <laughs> all right, let's cut this one then, since you missed that one. I definitely have some air pockets in here. Okay. 
So my clouds are not as gray as I was hoping. They're bigger than like I wanted. I wanted the big clouds. So that was a win. Um, but they're just not, I wanted like the more stormy clouds or the rain clouds. I suppose those look like flowers. <laughs> there you go, spring. Summer's plan, there is no clouds in the sky. My sky is a more vibrant blue for summer. Uh, no real change in the tree line and no real change in much of anything else. It's just the, the sky is gonna be quite a bit different. Let's see how I did, guys. For my summer bridge, I am using sunshine on my mind. I'm putting a sun in there. So I have a little bit of yellow with a little bit of neon yellow in this little doohickey here. And the thing is, I really want this thick and I want it uh, pipeable quite, quite quickly. So I am gonna do the best I can to get this to be very, very thick. We're at 89. The problem with my uh, mixer, my mini mixer, is I can't seem to do that without incorporating an awful lot of air bubbles. So I try to stay away from that if I can. That's getting close, and this is getting thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my blue in here. I don't remember this fragrance oil being this quick. I just piped a little bit of yellow in each corner here, just for a little bit of a sun effect. And I don't want to disturb that by adding my blue, so I'm going to be fairly cautious with adding that on top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to put my pictures in here. Oh, oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just did that. Cannot believe I did that. Well, yeah, I can because I've made one mistake after another with these things. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just going to have to maybe give her a, a bit of a guess on these layers. Okay. For summer, you can see my little sun on that end. Guys, I need this one to be a good one. <laughs> Mentally, I don't know what order I'm doing all of these videos with the covered bridges, but can I just say mentally, I need a good one here. These bridges are kicking my butt. Oh, now, yes. Look at that. Does that look like summer? I wish my sun was a different shape. Like it's going the wrong way. <laughs> it's going this way instead of going this way. That one's better. Goodness. Guys, I needed this one. <laughs> this, this one, this one was tough on me and it was an easy bridge to do or an easier soap design. There wasn't a lot to it. I didn't have clouds. Yeah, that looks really cute. That one is summer. My original plan for fall, I wanted fall colored leaves. How I did the soap, I saw Lisa like do a pipe of leaves, I think, or she did flowers, something, but I, I piped my leaves, I think I did yellow, orange, and red, and brown, all four. <laughs> I'm gonna hide part of it. So there is my covered bridge, and they got so muddied when I put the bridge in. I mean, it's not horrible. I guess I could, I could kind of see fall. <laughs> it wasn't at all what I was going for, guys. That wasn't the worst of it, though. Check out my road. Are you ready for this? <laughs> my everybody was like what are those black circles and I'm thinking well it's supposed to be you know a um, variation in my road color but my black was too dark and it I said it turned into chuck holes and my measurements were off again and so this part of my road is super <laughs> light and this part's really dark it is just a fail so that's my oops and I had to remake that bridge <laughs> fast forward 
several days. I have my fall bridge ready to go. And then I decide to change my design plan. So, <laughs> I'm not doing the fall leaves. And I'm thinking, you know what? Harvest moon. Harvest moon. That's why I'm going to do a night scene. I'm so excited. <laughs> so <laughs> but here's the thing. After I made my bridge, I needed night. Well, I still had the green. That little green square, that's part of my bridge. I scraped out the gray road and the green, like little rectangle-y thing. I was able to scrape that out and redo the bridge. <laughs> and then I am going to make a harvest moon embed. I bought a circle silicone mold, column mold. My fall soap is scented in sparkling pine and bergamot. I thought that was so appropriate for fall. So stay tuned. I'm nervous. It's been two days since I made the little harvest moon. Oh. Guys, from this, that looks really good. I don't want to break it. I got me a harvest moon. Let's make some soap. For my sky, the moon gives off so much light. It's not like a really dark sky. And I want my shadowy trees to really stand out against the sky. That being said, I don't want a bright, happy, sunny to sky either. I'm gonna do a, a fair amount of my Cambridge blue and I may even add just a tiny bit of black to it just to deepen it a little bit. I'm gonna put my moon in bed now. In. I want it to be fairly towards the what will be the top of the soap. I shouldn't have gone so far with the blue, the black. It's a little darker than I wanted it to be. Gosh darn it. It was looking so light in the bowl. Now look at it. Way too much green. I may have miscalculated. Go figure. But I'm going to hold this back and if I need to add it to my gray, I can and that'll deepen my gray up a little bit. I need it to be lighter than my road underneath the bridge. I don't think I'm going to add all the green, but I am going to add a spoonful. <laughs> Maybe one more spoon. Wow. What do you think, guys? I wanted my sky lighter and my trees darker. <laughs> so I didn't quite meet my plan, but man, considering the fact that I had to rip apart this bridge and pull out that green center and make it black, guys, whew, we made it to winter, guys. <laughs> now, Lisa, uh, help me with this one because she recommended for winter that I bring the sky, the blue sky down below the roof line. She also suggested putting white on the roof line, which I was planning on doing anyway, but I'm glad she told me that because I wasn't really sure how to get white trees with my white roof line. <laughs> I was like, that's not going to work. So I'm going to be piping on the roof line and bringing that sky down. That little green squarey thing in the center of the bridge is going to be uh, white. My winter soap is also going to be scented in peppercorn and pomegranate. Pe pomegranate and peppercorn. It's the one. I, it's this one. Oh, peppercorn and pom pomander. <laughs> Same scent because it smells so wintry. I feel like I'm like right up on top of you. I need to scooch myself back. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all the way out, guys. I'm sorry if I'm on top of you. Stay tuned for this, okay?
I have blue, I have a little bit of white. I was totally guessing on the amount of blue that I would need. All right, let's take a moment and appreciate my snow covered bridge. Yeah, that turned out really good, guys. I'm really excited about how this turned out. So one of my biggest things that I've done in all the times I've made this soap is I think I'm out of my blue or I'm short on blue, I make more and then I scrape off just that much. Uh, so I am going to try not to make that mistake. And I want the blue to kind of come up over the top of the bridge. And I'm pretty close, so I'm going to see if I can kind of manipulate this blue a little bit. So guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to make sure I don't have a, a lot of blue along the edge of the bridge. That would not look right. So I'm just trying to scrape the bridge clean of any blue that may be on there. All right, in goes the white. It's still a little fluid, but that's okay. I want to be able to pour it and not have any air bubbles. Okay, guys, I am somewhat of a nervous wreck. <laughs> I can tell that bridge was a couple weeks old. <sighs> okay. Oh, look at that big old uh, air pocket. I'll fix that with the little soap shred here. Oh, it's a winter scene. I don't have my clouds really towards the top. I thought all of my clouds would be at the top and I don't see any clouds. There's some clouds. More, more up top. All right guys, it has actually been three or four weeks since I finished my last covered bridge and I finally have them packaged. It took me a good month to figure out my packaging, but I want to really quickly go through the design and my where I wanted them to be and what went right or what went wrong so we can kind of talk about that and what I'm going to do differently for next year. Here is spring. I'm calling spring uh, April showers as in April showers bring May flowers. Uh, this is probably my least successful seasonal soap. Uh, my flowers, let me see if it, it'll, are almost non-existent in, in the in the point where you really can't tell if they're supposed to be flowers. So next year, I will definitely make those pop. I want really bright colors for my flowers to show up against the green and the gray road. Um, so, and I need more of them. I th two, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> my grays are backwards. So this gray under the bridge should be this color and this gray road should be the interior color. So that's backwards. I don't know what I was thinking. Other than that, I think it's fine, but it is my least successful of the four soaps. Let's move on to summer. So I really like summer. I, I think it turned out really cute. I am so glad that it was literally within minutes before making the soap, I decided, oh, I want a sun. <laughs> I think the sun makes the bar. Uh, I call this not a cloud as in not a cloud in the sky for summer. Uh, yes, I am I'm so, so happy I did that. I, I think it's perfect. Uh, I don't have a lot to say negative about this. I think it turned out perfectly. It was very much what I was going for. The road ended up being good and that, that road just gives me some fits sometimes. So I don't have anything to complain about this one. I think it's really, really good. The only thing I would change is my sun tends to be in some of my bars um, more concave than than the round. It needs to be more rounded. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix that next year, but I will fix that next year. Fall, oh my gosh, guys, it's my favorite. It is by far my favorite soap. <laughs> I am so glad I decided to make a nighttime soap 
for this set. I, I think it's so appropriate and I'm so proud of myself <laughs> for, I mean, really coming up and, and changing my design to the point where I had to rip apart my bridge to make this work. <laughs> I'm so glad that I ended up doing that. I love my moon. That moon, can I just say, that moon is great, isn't it? I love it. Um, the, the things that I did wrong on this, I think, I think that I wanted my tree line to be more this color. Um, this is, this is like a really dark gray. You know how you can see the silhouette of trees. That's kind of what I was going for with this, with this dark silhouette of the trees against the uh, brighter sky. So I I, I made this too dark and that was one of the things I said, dang it. <laughs> um, and my, my road is great though. Uh, I, I ended up adding quite a bit of green to this gray road and it's perfect. It looks like a moon drenched road in the moonlight and kind of washed out. And I think the road is perfect actually. Uh, so I'm really proud of that. Uh, my biggest, my biggest takeaway is this is too dark and this is not dark enough though. But other than that, this is my favorite one. I love this one. Did I tell you the name? By the Light. I th See, I'm really proud of my names, guys. This is By the Light of the Harvest Moon. And I'm thinking, well, you kind of know it's the Harvest Moon. So I'm not going to be too obvious. So I'm trying to be kind of, you know, with my, with my names, you know, kind of like the seasonal names. Let's talk about winter. Winter is a winner in my book. I love this so much. I think my road is fine. The only thing I did wrong on this one is all these clouds I wanted up here. <laughs> I was looking at the video and I poured like an inch and a half of soap down before I added my white. So I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. I have no complaints about this, really. Really, I don't. I think it's really cute and I love it. So winter, I'm calling Let It Snow. And I wanna thank Tanya for helping me on my community page. I, I uh, at, asked for some help for naming the soaps and Tanya came up with Let It Snow. So thank you, Tanya, for that. Let It Snow one out. I love it. So here's my packaging. I, it, I looked online for a box in the, in the, dimensions that I wanted and I couldn't find that. So I made my own boxes. I have like this one. It's a little too small that I made, but it has my label on the back. And then this, after I made the box, I have these. They're not cardboard. They're not car card stock. They're thick and they're, they're folding boards. They're made for boxes. And um, so since I couldn't find one, in the size I wanted, I made my own. It was really kind of easy. So that is my packaging. But if you're interested in seeing how I came up with the box and how I made it, I will do a video on that. If you're interested, let me know. <sighs> Cover bridges for 2022 are done. I made 18 gift sets. I hope I sell them, guys. I don't know what I'm going to price these at, honestly. I put so many hours into the soap. I don't think I would ever feel like I can charge enough for it. <laughs> I know, right? This was hours of my work. Untold. I have no idea how many hours I spent on the soap. So... You know, I haven't decided what I'm going to charge for them. I'm thinking I'm going to charge, I want to charge 40, but that won't work. But I may charge 30 or even 35. <laughs> I don't know yet. I mean, I, it's going to be whatever I charge for them. I, it's not going to be enough. So I don't want to like rip people off, but I also want to pay a little bit for the time I put into it. So I don't know. I'm thinking 30 or 35, but I think I need to charge more than seven and a half dollars a piece for these, let alone all the packaging that I'm going to do. So I'm going to charge a little over eight um, and see what happens. You know, if, if Covered Bridge comes to a close and I haven't sold them, I may, I may drop that price, but no, I think I'm going to charge 35. When I say 40 or 35, I'm going to charge 35. <laughs>
I think I want to draw it to 35. That's a little more than, right? Because eight, eight times four is 32, right? I just did this. Yeah, eight times four is 32. So a little more than $8 a piece. I'm gonna see what happens. 35 bucks, there we are, done. <laughs> Guys, these covered bridges really kicked my butt this year. So I am very hopeful that if they, I'm hopeful that they sell well for that reason. And I'm hopeful that they sell well enough that I can make more next year because I do feel like I can just improve on these so much. I can't wait for next year to come around so I can improve on them. <laughs> so guys, that's it. I really do appreciate the time you gave me. Hopefully I can edit this down into a manageable time for you all. <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.